Hello everyone, my name is Shane, my online name is Lanzer, and today is by the numbers Noma Shtera. As you can see down here at the bottom, there is a by the numbers active and the by the numbers inactive. Active means that here, days left, there's still a number there greater than zero. Inactive means that days left has equal zero, so the crypto investment has expired. You can see there are two now, and we will get to that shortly. Total invested is $106,000, both active and inactive. Active investments is $90,000. Return so far has been $22,000, and I expect $67,000 more to come in. And my projected revenue is going to is $98,000. Today we're going to go over a performance update of all of the active investments and then introduce the inactive investments, which have since expired. Starting first with Control Finance, the website is still unreachable. I have assumed zero payouts every day since. I have 18 days left before this crypto investment expires. My last update was that Ambis had a refund post. It said if you open up an account with them and then post a help desk ticket that they would restore your amount. I've done all that. I've done everything. And as you can see, my active investment is zero still, and I have not received word back from Ambus. So I'm not taking that post from Ambus seriously. So after 18 days, it will move over into the by the numbers inactive. Moving on next to BitConnect. As you can see, I have been accruing daily interest payouts as advertised. I did reinvest my principal $20,000. You can see down here at the bottom, investment number is on to iteration number two, the second one. The principal is still recoverable. The average interest rate is now 1.15%. I expect an average return of 47,000, which will equal 138%. And evaluation days is still 120. I've not broken even. Started on October 7th, 36 days have passed, 84 more to go. Total payout so far is $8,400. Average interest rate is 1.17%. Total fees is zero and net return is zero. And, and the reason why that is, is because I decided that on my second iteration, I would utilize a compounding interest strategy. Now I calculated three different scenarios based on the number of cycles I think that I would want to reinvest. And I did it based on a 0%, uh, one thousand dollar tier a five thousand dollar tier and a ten thousand dollar tier those are the four tiers that bitconnect offers in their lending website and you can go to see what sort of percentage minimums that you would receive that way my three different strategies was one is one cycle which is 120 days two cycles which is 240 days and four cycles which is 480 days so then let's look at two cycles which is 240 days and this is what I based my reinvestment strategy off of. So same thing, 29000 The $1,000 reinvest goes to $93,000 reinvested. But if you reinvest every $1,000, after 240 days, I would have expected to reinvest $350,000. Compared to the $5,000 reinvestment, which would equal $375,000, and then $10,000. $356,000. So the $10,000 still trails behind a little bit, but after 240 days, which is what I decided that I would want to reinvest consecutively, it looks like the winner here is $5,000 reinvestment strategy, and which will give you an approximate margin of $15,000 over the $1,000 reinvestment. So that's why when you look at my ledger, you'll see payout, 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 and then reinvest. Uh, here is the payouts from the reinvest. And then you'll see nothing to the right, which means I did not take anything out of BitConnect. And that's all I have for BitConnect. So back down to the bottom here, the break even is projected to be 86 days, projected return on investment, 139% projected net return 48,000. I will probably need to adjust these numbers to take into account compounding interest. And Woodlands are reinvest it's with caution because this is now a second iteration which stands by itself. And that's all I have for BitConnect. Genesis Mining 
as you can see here I have been receiving payouts now since the start although there it should be noted that my first payout received was November 1st not October 31st which is what I anticipated and which is what the the advertised start date was supposed to be Genesis mining I've invested twenty five thousand dollars advertised interest rate is one point zero three percent advertised return is thirty three thousand and advertised return on investment is one hundred thirty two percent the principal is not recoverable my evaluation period is one hundred twenty eight days break even is no I have not broken even I started on October thirty first seven days have passed so only one week. 121 days left. Total payout so far has been $1,700. Average interest rate is 0.69% daily. You'll notice that that is not 1.03% daily. We'll go over that in a minute. Total fees is $6.50. Average fee rate 1.49%. Net return so far is $1,500. Net return so far is 6.23% of my $25,000 investment. Break even day is projected to be 103 days. Projected return on investment, 88%. And projected net return is $31,000 made. My Woodlands are reinvest right now is with caution. And let's go into why. So if you recall, on 6 September, I pulled all the data, which was the day that I originally pre-ordered the 200 tear hashes. And this is what I had. So, it gave me 1.03% interest daily, $33,000, 132% ROI. Come 31 October, I recalculate the numbers just to see what would happen, and turns out that I assessed a significant hit to my interest rates. So, 0.4%, so 0.40% reduction in interest daily, almost over $10,000 hit taken to returns and a 50% reduction in return on investment. So I was a bit surprised by that. And as far as I can tell, this came from a significant increase in difficulty on CoinWars.com. So I am, as of right now, still holding to the originally assessed 132%, 1.03% daily, which is based on what I pulled 6 September, although I'm contemplating switching over to 31 October. I'll decide something in the future. Uh, another thing that I noticed is that the daily payouts are a bit sporadic. So I did not receive a payment on 31 October, which is when it said that it would start mining. I'm not sure whether or not that meant I would get it on 31 October or I'd have to wait a full day. I don't know, I pre-ordered it long before, so there's no way to tell right now. I did not receive a payment on 5 November, and I have not received a payment 9 through 13 November. So, I don't know what to make of that yet. I'm just recording what I know as is, and I will wait to see what happens next. USI Tech has been paying out as advertised. You can see I started here, and now I'm all the way up here. So USI Tech, I invested $4,900. Recoverable principal is unknown. I submitted help desk tickets, but their answer were answers were very, very vague and unclear. So I put unknown. Average interest rate was advertised as 1% daily. Average return, $6,000, which was 140% return on investment. Evaluation day of 196 days. Break even, I have not. Started on September 29th. 44 days have passed since then, 152 days left. I have accrued 0.3172 Bitcoin, which is an average interest rate of 0.62% per day. You'll notice that is lower than the advertised daily. Total fees is $9, and average fee rate is 2.75%. Net return so far has been $600, which is 12% of my $4,900 investment. Break even is projected to be 162 days, 121% projected rate of return, and that return is projected to be 1.37 Bitcoin. I have not converted over to dollars. My Woodlands reinvest is with caution. I am not receiving payouts on weekends, and because 
USI Tech is based in United Arab Emirates. Their weekends are Sunday and Monday. So that lines up. And I am receiving a payout as advertised otherwise. You can see that the average interest rate is 0.62%. That is tracking correctly, but it's taken into account the zero days. So I may have to adjust to account for the zero days here. So I'm keeping a watchful eye on that and trying to figure out what is going on there. Cornrium, I did receive my first payout as advertised on October 31st. I withdrew it and it is now within my external wallet. So that worked out. I, my principal is $6,800. My principal is not recoverable. Advertised interest rate is monthly and that's 115%. Average return is 4.14 Bitcoin, which should equal 345% return. An evaluation day of three months. I have broken even. So this first month here gave me more than what I put into it. Started was 19 September. One month has passed and I have three left, although it says 889 days, but that's tracking in days. So I have actually two months left. Total payout so far has been 1.38 Bitcoin. Ad average interest rate of 4.6%. That's not correct. It's tracking daily. Total fees have been $125, 1.49%. My net return so far has been $8,286. And my net return is 120% of my investment regained. Projected break even is all done. So that's actually done and over with. That's 30 days and 30 days have passed. And my projected ROI is 10,000%. I think that number needs adjusting. So we'll just gloss over that. And projected net return is also in need of adjusting because there's a Bitcoin to USD translation that needs to happen. Woodlander reinvest is very likely. And this is the first crypto investment that I have ever given a very likely after 30 days. So, I mean, it, it gave me what it said it would give me after 30 days. So. I felt that it deserved it. It is on the right hand side. So that means it's right up against with caution. And that's because I still have two months left. And investment duration is first. So that sums up the active by the numbers. Let's go on to inactive. So by the numbers inactive, Bitpetite is now inactive because it is zero. However, I should note that Bitpetite website is no longer can be reached. My crypto investment has expired, so I, I don't have anything really to log into, but it should be noted that it seems as though Big Petite website is no longer accessible. Oscar Bit, days left is zero, and I've closed that one out as inactive. I have received zero payments from Oscar Bit. The website is still active. You can still get to it. I would not advise. My Woodlands or Reinvest is very unlikely because I still have not been able to access my account to confirm that I have received any payments in that 30 day period. You'll notice that I did change things up a little bit. I no longer go into the metrics tracker for each and every single crypto investment I'm in. And that's because I figured I utilize these scorecards to save time so that I can make this just a little bit more frequent instead of spending hours and hours editing content, which is not productive for me. So I decided to change the venue to make this work faster so that I can be more willing to spend time on it. If you want to ac access the metrics, I still upload them. You can go onto the, you can use this download link to access the by the numbers tracker. And then each scorecard has a download link that you can click and I continually update that as well. That's everything I have for this by the numbers video. Have a great day. Bye.